Hey everybody, this is Free Sky Steve, and today I got a letter from somebody who just got himself a brand new Free Wing Zeus 90mm EDF jet. Super excited about it. It has throttle reverse, and he knows how to set it up on his old system, but he wants to know how to set it up on Free Sky. In particular, this guy, his name is Art. What Art wants to do is he wants to hold down the toggle or actually the momentary switch and be able to reverse his throttle so the way to do this is well let's take a look how would you do this um, to start off with what we do is we look at a model so we hit the model button right here and go into mixers the mixer or we call it mixes and you can see that I have a traditional plane setup where I have the first six channels set up for various things. Uh, she looks pretty familiar. And usually this is where I would find the throttle reverse at. I would hit the plus button and I would look around here and I'd say, well, I got throttle elevator, throttle rudder, I got throttle. I don't see a throttle reverse. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make one. And so this is going to be a little bit different, so please pay attention. What we're going to do is we're going to create a free mix, but instead of putting it in the last position, I want to put it above the throttle. So I'll add it after the elevator. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go back and we're going to look at it. You can see that there's a free mix and that there's no source and there's no channels. So we're going to edit this. First thing I'm going to do is long press on this to go back into edit. I'm going to use the page up, page down button to delete everything, and then I am going to use abbreviations. I think they're important to use abbreviations to remind me what we're working on here. So I have the name. I hit return to get out of that. Now the source. The source is the thing that is going to, actually before source, we're going to talk about the active condition. And by default, active condition is always on. What that means is that if you set this up, throttle reverse will always be on. And the thing we want to make sure of is that throttle reverse is not always on. So this is not a solution. What we're going to do is we're going to use a momentary switch, and that is switch I. But switch I has to be in this down position. And what happens if you push it in for a second and let go, it will go back to this up position, which means that your throttle reverse will always be on until you hold in the throttle, the um, momentary switch, and then it will be, not be on. So it's exactly opposite of what we're looking for. What we want is for when switch I is pushed in or that switch is held down, um, the throttle reverse is active, and when you let go of it, it's, it's unactive. Okay, so we're going to use switch I down. Now, the source is going to be the throttle. So, to use the throttle, I can just move the throttle, and there you go. So, you can see that right now the switch I is being held in, and it goes up and down. If I were to turn off switch I, nothing happens now the operation normally add is fine and technically yes it could work but I want to be double sir so what I'm going to do is select replace what that means is when this thing is operating the throttle does not work the traditional throttle channel when it's not operating don't worry about it so this is what well, the last thing I need to do is give it a channel and I'm going to use channel 7. And so it's going to ask if I want to use the mixer name for the channel. Sure. And then you'll see throttle reverse is on channel 7. This whole thing right here, reverse, it does not pertain to throttle reverse. So please do not use that. Okay. So you can see that the throttle reverse is not working. And when I click on it, it's gray. That means that the throttle is acting as normal. However, when I hold down the throttle reverse it is replacing the throttle so the throttle input will work perfectly and the moment you let go of it it 
reverts back to being a normal forward throttle. So this particular throttle reverse has a servo plug on it. The servo plug goes into channel 7, like you see right here. Um, and this is part of an ongoing thing uh, where people, I mean, I've had people tell me, oh, there's no need to have a anything more than a six-channel receiver. Well, guess what? There's more and more stuff every single, it seems like every week now, practically. You're getting things like uh, brake controllers that have servo connectors on them that have to plug into a free PWM channel. Uh, you now have the throttle reverse. I've seen grappling hooks, or the for the tail hooks, I should say. Uh, so there's just a variety of things. Lights you can turn on and off. So there's always a need for more channels. That's just why when people say, I'm going to think about buying a six-channel receiver, I'm like, please, for another $20, get yourself a 10-channel receiver. You'll thank yourself eventually. You never have enough channels and especially as the hobby progresses and the planes get more sophisticated with more stuff requiring servo connectors you definitely need those 10 channel receivers or larger that's it thanks for watching have a great day and if you have any comments or questions please leave them in the comment section thanks thanks again bye bye